I've served a lot of masters throughout history. Now I want to go back home where I can be free. Then you come along with the opal in your hand. Now your every wish is my command. That's right. Genie, genie, from down under. Make my wish come true. Dream on. Genie, genie, from down under. I wish you'd do what I want you to. Oh, yeah, all right then. Genie, from down under. Dad, we're free! that Mummy's just being nice to him. <laughs> I wish he'd just leave her alone. I'll just uh, go to the dam and check the pressure. If only I had a half-decent genie, I wouldn't be stuck out here lying low. His one redeeming quality is that he's mine, which is more than I can say for Conrad. Not that I care, anyway. He's hurt me too many times. It's all over. Well, it never really got started, but it's over anyway. He's a thing of the past. What are we doing? We're spying, Baz, remember? Spying? Yeah, I can do that. Shh, keep your voice down low. I can do that. Come on, you pack of pikers! Look, I am in charge. If you don't get out of the bus right now and start enjoying your holiday, I will personally come in there and throttle the lot of you. The whole point of this tour is to get you out into the wide open spaces. We're agoraphobic. You know, we're afraid of wide open spaces. I'm starting to get aggro myself. I warn you, I am not a violent man. Agoraphobic, you'll have to be very gentle with them. I am being gentle! Her ladyship studied psychology at Oxford. We try not to draw attention to their condition. Just because they're loonies doesn't mean I'm going to treat them any different to anyone else. Can we talk? Um, yes, it's very can we... important. It's so weird. I, I don't know how to say this. Well, I have noticed you spying around the place. There's a good reason for that, and I've been thinking about everything. And well, I think you know what I'm talking about. Well, of course I do. But maybe you should tell me anyway. Well, I want to. Yes. No, you just think I'm stupid. Oh no, I won't. I promise. Well, go on. It's about Bruce. Bruce? Yeah, he's not normal. What? Think about it. Have you ever seen him eat, drink, bathe, or even attend to any human bodily function? Well, no, but I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation. It escapes me right now. I reckon but... he's either a ghost, alien, warlock, or some sort of human or robot like a Terminator. Right. Well, he's not normal, is he? Bruce is normal in his own twisted way. In fact, he's so normal, he's common. And so common, it's scary. <laughs> There's something about Bruce that just doesn't gel, and I'm going to work out what it's the last thing I do. Will you help me or not? Well, of course I will. It's going to be very tricky. I've got Baz watching him right now. You've got Baz spying on his own father? Yeah, he thinks it's a game. Oh. <laughs> I've got a feeling he'll be able to give me some valuable inside information. Yes. <laughs> All right! If you don't want to die, you 
You'll come off the bus in an orderly manner. We can't do it. This is too much room out there. We've got six tents, and they're not very big. If you just get off the bus and move into these tents, it'll be one small step for man, but one huge step for agrophobics. OK. OK. Let's do it, team. Trouble. Comrade suspects you're not human. He's spying on you. Don't worry, we know. Baz is spying on Conrad. But he's got Baz spying on you. I'm a double agent. You don't need a spy. I might. If Conrad finds out what you are, he'll stop at nothing to get you in his power. He's already pumping Baz for information. It's all part of the plan. plan. We're confusing him with the truth. <laughs> The truth. Relax, not about what we are. A genie only reveals that to his master. It's one of our three golden rules. Rule one, obey a master. Rule two, only tell your master about your powers. Those are three, isn't it? Never run with scissors. I, I always forget that one. <laughs> Don't you wish there was some water in this dam? Break the drought? Give your mum a bit of water in the garden. Yes, I suppose so. Seen him eat. Well, of course not. He doesn't eat with us. Oh, we know that, Mossy, but Comrade has been watching him closely and he thinks that he never eats. So we're worried that he may be suffering from anorexia nervosa. He looks very strong for someone who's starving. Perhaps he's living in shame because he's living a lie. I mean, sure, he looks healthy enough, but maybe it's just a cover up. How are we going to feel when he collapses and dies of starvation, leaving poor Baz a homeless waif? I'll bake him a shepherd's pie. You could be saving his life. But genies don't eat. Yeah, that's right. Genies don't eat. That's why they uh, don't... Yes, I know what you do and what you don't do. But everyone's been invited to lunch. And if you don't eat, then Comrade's going to be suspicious. So you have to make it look as if you're eating. But if And I... that's a wish. Shepherd pie, my favourite. I can't get enough of it. Mm. Arachnophobia. Arachnophobia. Oh. Mm. Thank you. With people who are suffering from any sort of phobia, it's best not to talk about it all the time. Don't make them feel abnormal. Bruce, is an extra large piece for you. I won't have anyone suffering from nervous anorexia around here. Was he? Not that you don't look normal, but... Oh, thank you, Mossy. Mm -mm. Shepherd's pie. My favourite, too. Get into it. So you ate that pie? I haven't eaten that pie. No, the pie before. You are. I didn't know you were watching. See, oh, that's I wasn't. Why. Well, that's why you can see it then. 
More pie for you, my lady. Uh, no, really, Mossy. I've had more than an adequate sufficiency. Oh, and I think I'm full as a goog. My goodness. I don't know where you put it. You must have hollow legs. Thank you. Whoa, what's that? What is it? What was it? Where's the ghost? Thank you. That was delicious, Miss Mossop. I'm really full. Yeah, but I didn't actually see you eat anything. Well, you've been so busy not actually watching me eat, I haven't actually seen you eat anything. <laughs> I know what you're up to. You're trying to make me look silly, aren't you? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I insist on cleaning you up. Thank you. Uh, I can wash myself. No, but I insist. No, thank you for your encouragement and support. I can wash myself. May I go with you? To the bathroom? I normally go alone. But will you be using actual water? I'll make that decision when the time comes. This is very interesting. When I was studying psychology, we would, we would meet people with profound psychiatric disorders and, and diagnose. A more boy, anyone? Um, I am as full as a fat girl sock. I reckon I could go one more for the road. <laughs> I just don't know what's getting into you, Conrad. Are you losing it? How is acting insane going to get us the opal? Just listen to me, Otto. I'm onto something much bigger than the opal. What? I can't tell you. Look, Conrad, he ate the pie. Maybe we should... His plate was empty, but I didn't see him eat any pie. Just too tricky. I'm thinking flowers here. Perhaps a peach tree over there. Ah! Oh, garlic. Oh, yes. I, I might put some vegetables out the back. Scared of garlic, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not scared exactly. It just um, gives me gas. <laughs> Feels so stupid. Well, I have been saying. Of course he's not a vampire. Well, exactly. He wouldn't be out in the sun if he was a vampire. Oh. Of course. And now, for your enjoyment, we have scheduled the bush barbecue experience. <laughs> so, would you please step outside? It's called a bush barbecue because it happens in the bush. It does not happen in a tent. Can't you just pass the food inside the tent? Would you also like to do the bush hikes, the mountain climbing and the canoeing inside the tent? <laughs> Could we? Barbie, we get the Barbie in the temporary. Psst, no! What are you doing? I'm a double agent. Do you know what's even better than being a double agent? What? A triple agent. Well, triple agent, you know, I can do that. You keep spying on Comrade and your dad, but you're really working for me. Right. Now listen carefully. Comrade has gone over to the dam to try and catch your dad doing something weird on camera. Your mission is to get there first and warn him. No genie stuff, no magic, just act normal, show up and film, and don't disappear. No genie stuff, no magic. Act normal and disappear on film. She said that. Yeah, don't tell anyone. But now a triple agent. Ooh. Now if he's a ghost, he won't show up on film. So I'll just fi Bruce, you're mine, pal. <sighs> you see, he's way too light on his feet. Not even a footprint. To me. You. Look, you're stressed out. Obsessed. Well, of course I am. If Bruce is what I think he might be, we're on the brink of something. Bruce! Come 
Dad has just got a new camera, and he was wondering whether he might take some candid shots of you both. Just make sure you show up in all the photos, and that's a wish. No worries, Pen. Go for your life, Conrad. I think uh, this is my best profile. <laughs> okay, Dot. Let her rip. I now declare this irrigation system open. Ah, oh, the irrigation system is going to work. Big smile. Beautiful. He's in every single photo. He's even in the ones he wasn't in. Look, he's even in the ones I took at Christmas at Surface Paradise. Did Bruce go away with you at Christmas? No, that's what I'm saying. Flower on the floor. Check. Camera's ready. Check. Okay, Bruce. If you're a ghost, you will not leave any footprints. Right. Ready for you. Here he comes. Going on, Pen. Dusting for prints. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you leave footprints or else I'll make you suffer. Understood. Don't be scared. It's just flour. I'm not really a ghost. What's going on here? He's making fun of me. And disobeying me. What? <laughs> Did I say disobeying? I meant dismaying me. I don't get it with you. You follow me everywhere. You want to wash with me? Take my photo. Now you cover me in flour. You don't think I'm a loaf of bread, do you? Thank you. I know I've got a magnetic personality, but... Uh... OK, OK, so you're not a cyborg, you're not a ghost, but I know you're something, and I'm onto your insane act of being normal. What do you think, Di? Well, of course, he's completely normal, but it certainly is very interesting. How can you never eat, drink, bathe, blow your nose, or otherwise attend to bodily functions, huh? huh? He's very nervous, sir, about your personal hygiene, Benny. he? Listen, Conrad. If you'd like to, I'd be more than happy you to You think talk. you're so smart, don't you? But I'm onto you, boy. You pseudo non-human. I'm not giving up until I find your secret. And when I do, I'm going to expose you for what you are. You want to play hardball? Fine. Two can play at that game. Uncle? Uh, Crocodile Otto, we've finished in here. We'd like to go back to our tent. Now, please. What are we going to do? It's top secret, boys. We're going to perform a codex. Codex. Wow. Phone's charged. Are you ready, Baz? Yeah. Conrad, we understand. We all understand. It's Where perfectly are they? normal. Where are they? 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 Where are they?
Don't panic. We'll save your little boy. I can't explain. I don't know what happened. This apparition came out of nowhere and picked us up and took us all the way out here. Is Bruce there? Good, good. Tell me if you've got to send help or otherwise we're going to be eaten by all these wild, wild animals, are we? Help! Save me! I'm scared! The pigs are coming! The pigs are coming! Yes, wild pigs, hungry, savage boars, all these tusks. <laughs> and a big crocodile! Yes, and this big... Look, never mind. Tell him he's the only one that can save us now. And if... Oh, no! Quick! They're attacking! They're attacking! Ah! ah! Mm -hmm. This is it, Baz. The ultimate test. We're at least half an hour by car from the house. And if your father comes to pick you up, as I suspect he will to save you from this terrible death, then I'll know. Then I'll have proof that he's not. Hi, I... Dad! G'day, son. Where's the killer pigs? <sighs> How did you get in? Huh? Um... Hey, Conrad, watch this! Jimmy! those kids too. You sure? It's... You get spacious out there. I must admit, I do feel a little bit sorry for Conrad. But it just goes to prove that obsession can be dangerous. Of course, he's right. There is something very strange about Bruce. Perhaps there's something strange about everyone. There's so much happening in the universe that we'll never understand. We just have to accept that. Or else we end up like Conrad, who can't tell the difference between a rock and a person. Genie, you're the master. That's right. I'm the master. You're my genie. You belong to me. Yes. I've served a lot of masters throughout history. Now I want to go back home where I can be free. Then you come along with the opal in your hand. Now your every wish is my command. That's right. Genie, genie, from down. 
wish come true. Dream on. Genie, genie, from down under. I wish you'd do what I want you to. Oh, yeah, all right then. Genie from down under.